Hey, what's up guys? My name is Thomas Bark and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about 13 super amazing plugins for Brave and Google Chrome. Now, if you're not familiar with Brave, I really encourage you to check it out. Go to brave.com slash tom352. You could download Brave and it's pretty much just going to be better than Google Chrome in every way, but also have the same compatibility as Google Chrome. So you can use the same extensions and it's going to perform very similarly with cross-platform support and so on. Go to brave.com slash tom352. You can actually download Brave and then if you download it, I'll get some cryptocurrency. That's really cool and you could automatically watch ads yourself on Brave if you choose to do so and you can even make money that way as well. It's up to three times faster than some other browsers like Firefox and it has integrated ad blocking and script controls and stuff like that. It's just a really good browser guys and it's gonna work with all these extensions I'm gonna be talking about. If you don't like Brave, you can also use Google Chrome, but let's go ahead and go into some of these extensions. So guys, the first extension we're gonna be talking about is gonna be Tab Resize Split Screen Layouts. This is gonna be amazing for productivity and usability, especially if you have a big monitor or just a fairly big size monitor with good scale, you can get some really cool functionality with this extension. Pretty much what you're gonna do is add it to Google Chrome or Brave, go in the top right, and then you're gonna have these options. So you can either choose from empty tab or single tab. As you can see, single tab is just gonna make it so it looks like this, so you can see your background. If you click empty tab, it's gonna fill it up with these things. One thing I noticed about this like extension is that you're really gonna have to start on the first one. You can't just like use one of the, click on the later tabs here and then expect it to kind of fill up. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to like that first tab, you go ahead and click on it, and this is where you're gonna see the functionality. So pretty cool, right? You could be watching Twitch, watching YouTube, looking at some other kind of tab, and even browsing Reddit. This is a really cool application if you wanna really start multitasking with your browser, and it's extremely easy to use and very functional. Now, if you guys are like me, you just can't get enough of dark mode. I really like dark mode on iOS, automatic integration it changes to dark mode at night and during the day it will turn to light mode so guys what does this do well it's pretty much going to kind of invert all the colors but not lose much functionality some other dark mode extensions what will happen is you know some of the links that are blue will go to um, whatever color is against the kind of the dark background so you do kind of lose some functionality there but i haven't really found that too much to be the case with this one so i'm basically going to show you how it works like i said um, some of the genius behind some of these dark modes is the automatic feature, which is going to kind of detect, you know, when you should have it. Um, the auto mode timings is where you can set the auto mode to start. So you probably want to not be using dark mode during the day and you want to be using it at the night. That's kind of the basic idea. However, if you're kind of in a dark room, it would be good just to use dark mode all the time. You can also whitelist websites, which is really cool. So pretty much you're just gonna go to on and you can even lower the brightness, uh, which is pretty cool. But for example, you know, some websites work really well. Some sites are a little bit glitchy. Um, take for example, Reddit, you know, it's kind of like this back background looks a little weird. But if you go into the comment sections, you'll be able to see that it does, you know, work pretty well. You can see it's dark night mode here and it's a little darker here and here. Uh, YouTube works really well. As you can see in this cruiser got video and the comments it works really well you can still see the links and stuff like that there's all the functionality it's really good for reading articles really good for just general browsing if you like dark mode this is a really good extension to check out so guys next up on the list is going to be 10 i reverse image search this one is super useful so if you're not familiar with the show catfish basically what they'll do is they'll show people using fake facebook images by reverse image searching them so basically what it does is you can look up on google by searching an image. Now, what does this extension do exactly? Well, it just makes it super convenient to do that. So let's say you're on Reddit and you see some posts with 40,000 karma and you're like, wait a second, hasn't this been posted elsewhere? Like, where is this image coming from? Basically what you're gonna do after installing the extension is just right click it and then click search on 10 from here, it's actually gonna show you everywhere that this image has been posted. You can even see like some random places it's been posted on Imager, some kind of Russian site, whatever this is. So you could see that this image has seen, you know, a lot of places before. Overall, just a pretty useful extension and it can help you pre-feel, you know, kind of investigative if you're trying to find out where images are coming from. Number four on this list is gonna be Grammarly. Now you may or may not have heard of Grammarly before, 
but it's basically essential if you need to do any writing. Sometimes it's really hard to spell check yourself and sometimes it's annoying to have to ask someone to do it for you and maybe you just don't have the time. And that's where Grammarly comes in. So it has a free model and a paid model with a little bit more features, but the free model is pretty good and the paid model is actually not too expensive either. Now I used to actually be a freelance writer by trade and Grammarly was a lifesaver for me. It's really useful in isolating um, things that you might overlook yourself. So basically all you're gonna do is add to Google Chrome, sign in, and then anytime you're using like a text field, as you can see here, it's actually gonna give you suggestions on how to fix your text. So this will work in your emails, your Reddit post, um, any kind of job applications. You can even kind of install it from Microsoft Office as well with kind of an extension, which is cool. But this is kind of what it looks like on the website. And you can even just copy and paste stuff on the website as well. So basically what you can do is um, correct your grammatical things like this. And overall, guys, it works really good. It's easy to use and it can really improve your writing and decrease the amount of errors you do. This is something I'm probably gonna be using after I finish my novel. And it's something that you really should be using if you care about proper grammar. Next up on the list is gonna be WikiWand. Wikipedia modernized. Now basically what this is gonna do is give you a brand new layout for Wikipedia. Now Wikipedia gets a lot of hate in academic kind of fields and stuff like that, but for most people it's one of the best websites to get pretty honest and pretty good research information about any kind of topic. So basically with this extension, what you're gonna do is click Add to Brave or Google Chrome, whichever one you're using. And then once you go to the Wikipedia page, let's say for this example, Star Wars, you're gonna see a really cool interface here for Wikipedia. Honestly, it actually makes Wikipedia look quite good and it makes the original kind of Wikipedia feel a little bit out of date. So it's pretty cool guys, just to see Wikipedia get kind of a new kind of interface here. The cool thing is you could see is that there's kind of like a tabular um, navigation kind of style here, which is really cool. And it's easy to also search things as well and you can even just type control T twice to look up something new. So really cool. All right guys, so this next one is gonna be extremely useful for students or if someone who's just trying to make some kind of research paper. Basically what this does is it's called Cite This For Me Websiter. Anytime you go to a website, say CNN or this one, you just click on the extension um, and then it's gonna go ahead and automatically make a citation. So this is gonna be really useful if you need to make bibliographies. Like I said, primarily for students and people in college and stuff like that, but this is gonna save you a lot of time and make things very easy. Honestly, when I was going in college, I would've killed for something like this just to save some time. A great add-on. The Great Suspender is one of my favorite add-ons that I wish I knew about sooner. It's a really cool extension that basically makes your browser not hog as much resources on your computer. Now, if you're familiar with Brave and Google Chrome, the way they kind of work is that each kind of browser is kind of separately kind of taking up resources. So if you have like 20 browsers, tabs open, things are gonna get pretty dang slow. But with something like the Great Extent Suspender, what it does is it gives you the ability to control when certain extensions, uh, certain tabs go to sleep. So as you can see here, there's a good amount of customization. So basically what I would like to do is after 10 minutes of not using a browser tab, it's automatically kind of gonna go to sleep and it's not gonna be hugging up user resources. You could customize it right here to change it to the time you want. Not sure why you do two weeks unless you wanna have your tabs open that long. And you can even uh, do stuff like this. Never send tabs when connected to power source if you don't wanna take too much you know, laptop battery or something like that. So you can even do something like this, automatically unsuspend tab when it is viewed. So I keep this checked um, and you can even do something like this to um, there. And you even have dark and not light kind of settings here, depending on you know what it's gonna look like when the, the page gets suspended. And of course you have some keyboard shortcuts as well. Overall guys, this is a really good application and I would suggest anyone using Brave or Chrome to definitely use this just to save system resources on your computer so things don't get slowed down by having tons of tabs open. Stay Focused is another really cool extension that is gonna be really good for your general productivity. This one's great for students or someone who needs to get work done at home or just someone who has a really prob problematic time procrastinating. What this extension is gonna do is basically make it so you can't look at a website or something like that um, so you can actually focus on your work. So you could block like YouTube or Reddit, Twitter, any one of these time wasting websites and use a 
countdown timer. There's even a nuclear option here and plenty of settings to customize, like which websites you want to block, you know, what do you want to block for how long, starting when, and there's lots of controls here, guys, to customize what websites, how long, and, you know, the extent that you want to block them. Overall, a very good customization and productivity kind of um, application here for those people who have trouble procrastinating pretty badly. Now guys, it might be more proper to have this at the end of this list, but Extensity is really cool and I like it so much that I just have to talk about it right now before we get carried away. Now as you can see here at the top, I have quite a bit of an extension list here just from you know installing every single thing in this video so far to show you guys how it works. But I also like extensions overall and in terms of the usability and you know productivity they provide. So with this extension, guys, you can actually disable things uh, based on you know the extension. So as you can see here, you could just disable them just by clicking on it. So this is really cool if you're having some kind of extension that's kind of bugging you, but you don't necessarily want to get rid of it. Or maybe you don't want to have it on all the time, like something like Google Translate or Grammarly or something like that. Or um, this is just a really cool application to give you some very good usability and control for your extensions without making it a hassle of having to reinstall, go back to this page, and so on and so on. Really cool extension and very usable. Now, if you're not using a password manager, I would really suggest you to use one. Password managers are really good at giving you secure passwords and making it easy to rem remember them. Basically, the way they work is it shows you kind of right here. It's going to install it up right here, and you have all your selected accounts and passwords. You could generate passwords. You can, you know, very easily copy the password and put it into something. Basically, the way that Bitwarden works is you're going to right click, and then you're going to be able to see it and autofill it. Um, you know, like right here, my vault is locked right now, but that's how it works with Bitwarden. Now, why Bitwarden in terms of, you know, other password managers? Well, I've been looking at password managers quite a while, and a lot of the other ones. Um, are just simply more expensive. Bitwarden is only around $12 a year for the premium edition, and it even has a free edition, which is quite generous. It's available on pretty much every platform, so you can have it on your phone and your browser as well, and it's just a very trusted password manager that's completely open source and it has a very good reputation. Some other password managers, like LastPass, for example, have had a lot of security vulnerabilities in the past, and other good ones like 1Password are $40 for premium, Whereas Bitwarden's only $12. It has all the pretty much features that you need, like biometric, face unlock, and stuff like that on your iPhone or your Android device. So, guys, this is something you should definitely install, check out, and it's probably my favorite password manager overall, and definitely one of the extensions you really need to put on your browser to enhance and you know make sure that you have security and privacy. Now, no browser is complete without a VPN installed. So you might be wondering, well, why do I need a VPN? A VPN is really good for hiding your IP address. So this is really good by keeping you kind of anonymous and secure when browsing things. It's going to protect ads from seeing your real IP. Um, it's really good, you know, outside of the browser as well for stuff like torrenting. And for the browser, it's really good for unblocking geo restrictions and you can access full content libraries. So if you're outside the US, you can watch the US version of Netflix, Hulu, Prime Video, and stuff like that. Now, not every VPN comes equal, and most people on YouTube who talk about VPN are unfortunately dirty shills. People like Lewis Rossman and people like him have really narrowed down that YouTube has a problem with advertising VPNs. Now, as someone who's actually taken the time to review every single VPN out there, I can assure you that Torgard VPN is one of the best ones, and it's a number one rated VPN on my channel, and that's why you should use specifically this VPN. So guys, if you want to use on um, this extension, it's going to be free to install, um, but you're actually going to have to pay for this one on their website. Fortunately, though, and one reason this is mentioned in this video is that Torgo VPN is different from most other VPN providers because you could specifically just pay for the BitTorrent proxy. So this proxy is basically a BitTorrent or anonymous proxy you could use in the extension. And it's going to be $6 a month, but my coupon code TOMSPARK, it's only going to come out to around $3 a month or $20 a year. So it's very affordable and it's going to be the cheapest price you can pretty much get for proxy, especially since it's such a good VPN. It's quite a good deal. So if you're going to use a VPN for your browser, this is the one I would suggest using. So guys, to round up this list, we're going to be talking about click and clean. This is a pretty cool little extension that's going to make it just a little bit more easy to kind of get rid of some of the stuff that you accrue when browsing. 
So what does this app do? Well, it basically makes it a one button press to get rid of some of the um, kind of junk on your browser, like cookies, browsing history and stuff like that. So if you're just kind of browsing, you don't want to see someone what you're doing um, or, you know, someone else is going to be using a computer and you don't want them to see your history or something like that. This is a pretty good application that makes it easy to do so. You have a one click button here to clear private data. You could securely close the browser. You could go to your cache. And sometimes when you go to your cache, um, you know, it's going to take you to kind of like their, their website's a version of it to look, let you look at this kind of like weird interface. Kind of annoying about that. Um, but overall, it also gives you some good control over going incognito, looking at the cookies, deleting specific cookies, testing your privacy, showing you if you're leaking your IP address or anything like that. It's a pretty cool uh, extension. And I just like it with how convenient it is to get rid of some of these things. Um, and you could delete individual cookies, which is cool. Um, but and you can always just click this button if you just want to clear private data, which is nice as well. Now, if you click this, it will close Chrome and automatically clear your browsing data. So if you're looking at naughty things, just do that. There you go. Momentum is a pretty cool extension that kind of just gives you a nice kind of feel every time you open up your browser. So it's nothing revolutionary, but it's a very well-designed application that could kind of inspire you. So basically what you're gonna do is install it and then it's gonna show you uh, this page. You enter in your name and uh, you just gonna enter in your email. So kind of once you get past that setup process, it's gonna look like this. So you could pretty much say, what is my main focus today? I'm going to make a video um, and then it's gonna have a checklist. So besides that, you can also um, edit your name, show today's mantra. So what is it gonna be? Actions conquer fear, that's pretty cool. Um, I can make more main focuses. So if I do uh, go get some coffee and then go to sleep. So that's gonna be my main focus today. So basically once you finish your main focus, you can click this button and add more. So uh, play video games. And then once you're done with that, you click on it and do it again. Overall, guys, it's a pretty simplistic application, but it's kind of cool. Um, as you can see here, you can kind of customize the mantras um, to the do list. Um, you can even, you know, add a list. You could add integrations. You could customize the quote, hide some productivity features, show various links and bookmarks here. So you can actually kind of make it more useful. You can kind of customize the photos and make it the photos that you want. So overall, guys, while it may seem simplistic, there is a good custom amount of customization here. And you could actually kind of make it a pretty cool um, a little extension and homepage for your browser. All right, guys, if you like this video, let me know down in the comments down below. Let me know what your favorite extension is. If I didn't mention it or if I did mention it, let me know what you like about it. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you again very soon.